Hey everyone and good evening. This is Brian Curtis here and uh, I'm going to provide another for sale by owner tip of the day. Um, I'm doing the video on the podcast a little late tonight. I had a bunch going on. I got pretty busy, but we get we we got to talking about for sale by owners and just all the things that are going on with it. Uh, I'm in a market where there's a significant amount of for sale by owners and uh it could be the conservative Midwest approach and or it could be that people are just not flexible. So there's not a lot of flexibility. That's something that we provide to for sale by owners, but I do want to provide some tips and tricks. So with that said, uh, what I'd like to talk to today actually is in regards to how you position your home. Um, I, I think a lot of times people get clouded by, uh, you know, doing things. I had a lady call me up and she said, I just put a brand new roof on my home and I'm putting all new windows in my home. And she thinks that she's going to get a bunch of money back by doing those things. Uh, those are items, unfortunately, that a house has to have. It has to have a roof and it has to have windows. Yes, they are selling points, but do they really add value? And uh, sadly, the answer would be no, they don't add a lot of value. So uh, if your roof needs changed, if it's, you know, if it's bad, if it's only got a year or two left on the roof, then yes, it needs to be replaced. If not, that's why you need a professional to at least give you some, you know, tips on that. Because I just had somebody that just spent probably thirty to $40,000 dollars and she's not going to get her money back. So she's a little frustrated by that and I can understand it, but that's why in a lot of cases you need that professional. So as a for sale by owner, uh, you don't always save the money. So be prepared to put in the work, be prepared to figure these things out on your own, uh, because there's not going to be many agents that are going to be willing to help you. Now, with that said, there are some good agents that may give you a few things. They may give you a seller disclosure. They might do a market analysis for you. Uh, but keep in mind, these are just high level, you know, mar market analysis. Uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into selling your home. So, you know, you've got to get yourself up to speed. You've got to put in the time, the education, um, and you need to find the right resources. Unfortunately, a lot of people depend on uh, maybe another professional like an attorney. And I'm not downgrading attorneys or saying that they don't know what they're doing, but you got to keep in mind that they have their side, side of the, the situation and we have ours. And we as agents, we do this every day. That's what our job is. So you've got to be careful on who you pick and choose to work with. You've got to be careful on what you spend your money on. You know, I mean, it's, it's amazing what people, the amount of money they put into their home and then they try to sell it on their own to save the money. So, you know, understand that too. Understand the market, understand where you should put money, where you shouldn't put money. And, you know, make sure you're doing that all correctly. And, uh, you know, so when you look at the brass numbers and I can put this together for you, the savings usually do not equate out to what you think they would. But with that said, I understand for you, you've given it a try. And like I said, if you get a good agent on the other side, you can maybe save that listing commission. Uh, so that's the goal. Um, but it should be about what you net at the end of the day. So with that said, uh, I appreciate it guys. I know I rambled a little bit tonight. I'm pretty tired, but I still wanted to put together uh, a podcast and a video because I'm making a commitment to do this daily. And like I said, I might be rambling a little bit, so I apologize about that. But feel free to put in the comments topics you'd like to hear more about. I'm happy to talk about them, to take the time to explain them to you over the phone if you need. Uh, but I hope this helps someone tonight, and I really appreciate you watching and listening, and uh, have a good evening.